And we're back. I cannot believe Homer Bar is still going as strong as he is, but that man is a beast. I'm Chris Waters. I'm your host here on the main stage at E3 2013 for GameSpot's coverage. And joining me, repeat customer Peter Garza, Team Ninja localization producer. And you talked with Maxwell McGee earlier about yes. Dead or Alive, but now it's Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden Z time. Yeah, we're here to talk about uh, Yaiba, the next big thing for Ninja Gaiden. And... Uh a new IP from a collaboration between Team Ninja and KG Inafune. Um, it's ninjas, it's zombies, it's a combination that you would think people have thought about before but has never been done. And so, yeah, we're just really excited about having uh, the chance to show this off here at E3. And you said something a little strange. You said, you know, Ninja Gaiden, that's a name, household name when it comes to video gaming, but you also said new IP. It's like, wait, but how do those mix? This is actually a, a, a departure for, for the series, something very new. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, KG Nifunit uh, approached Ninja Gaiden, um, and, or approached Team Ninja, and said, you know, I really like Ninja Gaiden, I respect Ninja Gaiden, you know, as a series for, for ages, even, you know, when I was back at Capcom. Um, I would love to be able to do my own take on Ninja Gaiden. And uh, we heard what he had to say, and even within Team Ninja, there was talk about doing a zombie ninja game. Uh -huh. But, you know, even within Team Ninja, we didn't really have the, the passion for zombies and the knowledge of zombies to make it work. And so when Mr. Inafuna came to us and said, hey, how about a ninja and zombie game? We were like, great timing. Yes, this is awesome. <laughs> you read so, our minds. <laughs> um, for this, it really is almost like a new IP. It does take place within the world of Ninja Gaiden. And as we just saw on the, uh, the sort of the opening movie, yep. Yaiba does face off against Ryu Hayabusa. Um, and Ryu is the guy that cuts him in half, and he gets sort of rebuilt with uh, these cybernetic parts, his mecha arm and, and cyber eye. I like that you guys, you know, you're introducing a new protagonist. You pit him against your old protagonist totally loses. That's, and, <laughs> it you know, does that's, not go well for him at all. No, and th that's really <laughs> like the core of what Yaiba is wanting through this. Like, he wants his revenge against Ryu Hayabusa. <laughs> and, you know, as a new IP for the franchise, you want it, it wouldn't make sense for us to just make another, like, another Ryu Hayabusa, yeah. right? Ryu Hayabusa is like the ninja's ninja. He's cool, you know, calm, collected, and, you know, doesn't say a lot and will cut people down, but he's also thinking about honor and that kind of stuff. And Yaiba doesn't care anything about that. He's, like, he'll do whatever it takes to win. And as you'll see here when we're playing... I'm sorry, did it just say Meat Slapper in giant cartoon letters on <laughs> yes. screen? It did just say Meat Slapper. So you can see here, Yaiba now has grabbed a zombie with his cyber arm and was swinging him around on the chain and using the zombie as a weapon. Weaponized zombies. What have you done, Peter? So, and that's really something that comes from the core of, you know, ninjas and zombies. And that's the core concept. We haven't been trying to think of this as a spin-off of Ninja Gaiden. It's uh -huh. really been ninjas and zombies, how could we, how do we make that cool? <laughs> and, you know, using zombies as weapons is something new for inafune san as well. You know, most of the zombie games that he's created have been uh, pretty, uh, you know, straightforward zombies. You know, yep. sham shambling zombies. And so now we get a chance to have a little more fun with the zombies and actually play with them as things as well. <laughs> uh, so you can see the the core gameplay is is slicing them down. Um, sure. And from Team Ninja's side, we're definitely trying to get a feel of Ninja Gaiden and something that will make Ninja Gaiden fans, you know, feel at home and, and think of this as, yeah, this could work in Ninja Gaiden. Yep. But at the same time, we're not looking to make a copy of Ninja Gaiden, so this, the systems themselves are completely different. It is a completely new game. So while you may preserve, you know, the, the very quick, very combo-based, sort of skill-based combat at the philosophy, the way it manifests itself, the actual mechanics, Right. That's different. Right. Um, so it should feel the responsiveness, right? That 60 frames per second, well, it's running at 30 frames, but the, the fast response from the controls that you're doing, canceling into other moves, those kind of crazy moves, that should feel like a Ninja Gaiden game. Uh -huh. So right now we're up against uh, the first sort of mini boss. Um, it's called the Shredder. And here he just countered the Shredder's attack and it goes into ninja time. Slows down, allows you a little time to just go buck wild on the zombie. But it didn't say ninja time in giant cartoon letters. It didn't. But this says nunchucks. <laughs> that and does so say nunchucks. Also, it says chum tunnel of love in the yes. top right hand corner. <laughs> uh, obviously, you guys are embracing the humorous aspect of ninjas versus zombies. Absolutely. And that's something that, you know, KG Nafuna has been. Uh, talking about throughout the whole process that if you have zombies you're gonna need 
some humor in there. Zombie movies always have humor. Zombie games always have humor. There's something there. And so, like in this uh, cutscene that you're seeing here, you're going to have a zombie tell another zombie to get out of the way. And get of course, he's a zombie, so he's, <laughs> he's not paying attention. Right. He's desperate. And so it just spat. Oh, you broke that poor zombie's heart. So this aspect of humor is something that we haven't been able to play with in Ninja Gaiden because it's so serious. Um, and, you know, this is our, our chance to sort of break out of that. And to Speaking have of break out, what's fun. going on right now? Bloodlust? So, Bloodlust. Um, so this is sort of uh, when Yaiba just goes absolutely buck wild. Um, so he's going to sit here and jump around on a zombie. Is that zombie yes. like a fucking bronco? Yes, yes. And now he's back into normal. <laughs> so as he, as you do more crazy things, as you kill uh, zombies in crazy manners, uh, you'll build up sort of this bloodlust gauge uh, that you'll see on the upper left. Uh, and once that's filled up, you can trigger that bloodlust to where he just moves really fast and does absolutely crazy stuff on the zombies. Yeah, he sure does. Uh, we've got a question from the chat on twitch.tv uh, slash GameSpot from Naxerhid. It's always a nightmare trying to pronounce various people's <laughs> usernames, but I think I did okay. Uh, question, is it insanely hard like Ninja Gaiden? So, uh, we're not looking to make it a clone of Ninja Gaiden. Sure. Um, so, again, it's going back just as ninjas and zombies, how do we make it fun? Yeah. Um, there will definitely be a challenge there, and we want Ninja Gaiden fans to be able to feel a challenge. But as you see here, Ninja Gaiden, you're often faced with, you know, three enemies on screen, and they can take you out at any time. Uh, here, zombies, you have a horde of zombies, and so the gameplay is going to be different. Uh -huh. um, so it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison, but I can say that uh, it should offer a fun challenge for people who are used to that. Great. Uh, zombie fried. Now, is this... We're seeing the, the 15 hits, 16 hits, the combo meters sort of stack up. Is... Uh, are these exclamations that we're seeing on screen tied to that, or is that sort of because we're in an, an intro area that we're seeing some of those things? The, the explanations are uh, of some of the actions that you're doing. So he was just, um, you know, tor he just torched a zombie, and so that's why he got the zombie cry. There are different brutal kills, different ways of executing zombies. Um, and some of those will come up with their own uh, screen like that. So you had zombie fried um, before when you executed the, uh, the shredder. And got the arms. You got the nunchucks. Nunchucks. Um, so they're just sort of like different sorts of brutal kills. Certainly a lot of blood, a lot of brutality, uh, but also within this very unique uh, or very distinct, I should say, art style. A lot of dark shading, a lot of sort of comic cell shaded sensibilities. I'm not sure if you guys have a name for the style, but how did how did it sort of come about? How did you settle on it? So um, it was really in. Pretty much the initial meeting uh, where we all got together and started talking about, okay, ninjas and zombies, what do we do? Um, that we were trying to find some way to make the world, I guess, make a world in which people would accept ninjas and zombies like existing together. Because normally they just don't. <laughs> and, normally, come on. Yeah. I can believe ninjas. <laughs> I can believe zombies, but together? <laughs> come on. <laughs> um, so we were discussing that and thinking about different ways of... of you know, showing the game, not in a realistic manner because there are a bunch of zombie games that are photorealistic. Yep. Ninja Gaiden has also been pretty realistic uh -huh. uh, in rendering. And just as a way to make it stand out and as a way to really sort of uh, embrace that sort of unique style of, and the new unique uh, worldview with ninjas and zombies, uh, that's how we came across actually The Walking Dead. Uh -huh. And Keiji Nifuna saw The Walking Dead, uh, the You're comic book. about the Telltale, or the comic the book com games uh, yeah. by Robert and Alton. said, Kirkman. you know, this is a great, you know, a great expression of zombies in comic book form. They do a great job of just doing zombie stuff. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think this would be a really good, you know, reference for something we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody heard that, and, and we were pretty much all on board at that time. Said, yeah, Gene Shading, this will work really well, this, amp this uh, comic book style will really work to, to set us apart. So we talking M for Mature here? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. A little I think E is a little bit out of the range. <laughs> but yeah, yeah this kind up. of humor again, um, this is going back to, again, we're, and this, a lot of this stuff is actually coming from the developer that we're working with, and it's a, By a, a lot US, of this stuff, do you mean the reign the of, rain. like, 
the, the underwear on fire? Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, Spark Unlimited, the developers that we're working with here in LA, have really brought a lot to the table in, in the humor. You know, a lot the, of underpants to the table yes. is what you mean to say. The underpants, <laughs> the truck going in, that's, yeah. And so out of the, uh, presumably that was some sort of gentleman's club, uh, there comes like a giant, he looks like a bearded dwarf zombie that's yes. really big. This is our Scorcher. Um, and you'll see him sort of belch out fireballs uh, and oh, swing his ones don't have legs, but still trying really hard. Yes. That's adorable. <laughs> I like it. Uh, question coming in from Twitter for Aki Olkinen, wondering about unlocking new weapons or combos and that kind of progression stuff. Yeah, we're still working on the actual progression system, um, but that's definitely something that we're looking into. You will be able to uh, have new weapons. Um, you can see on the bottom uh, left, right now there's a fist highlighted, but as you get zombie weapons, you'll see those uh, come up, and the zombie weapons can actually be used up because they're zombie parts and they're already sort of decaying. Uh -huh. um, but you can keep you know, grabbing zombie parts from other zombies, um, and there will be, as well, for his cyber arm, you will have different abilities uh, in addition to the chain that you can see in this demo, um, we're looking at different sort of cyber abilities for that arm. I mean, you can't just have a cyber arm and not have a suite of cyber abilities. So here we just ripped off a mortar from uh, from our Scorcher. Which and so we can have a little which fun. Which is its head? Yes, which is its head. And so we can launch fireballs. <laughs> Gosh, you guys just take take yourselves way too it's too somber and serious. Honestly, lighten up a little. Well, that's what we're, we're really trying to have a lot of fun with it, uh, and we think the developers and this the collaboration between Team Ninja and Inafuna and Spark has really paid off. And so you, here you can see him go into rage mode again as he bounces on and the he's rigor mortar. Bouncing on it like it's a pogo stick. Yes. I like the way he comes out. Just kind of shrugs his shoulders, gets his. What what is like ninja his back. hood back on? He's like, all right, back into ninja mode. Oh, good lord! And so here we have an image of one of our bosses. That is a real angry two-headed giant monster zombie baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can see we're trying. <laughs> oh, gross. Within the whole you know realm of zombies, we're trying some new stuff. It's you not really just are. shambling corpses. That's cool. I mean, you guys are running with it, you know, like trying to. I think that. You know, it's easy to, to think of ninjas and zombies, and, you know, uh, so many ninjas, there's so many zombies. So how do you make it new? It seems like that's sort of been at the core of the Aiba development is Definitely how do you take that. these concepts that many people have explored before, even your own teams, right. and make it fresh? Yeah, that, that really has been the core discussion uh, since the beginning. How do we keep it fresh? How do we keep it new? And how do we keep it, you know, just fun? There's got to be something fun. It's a new action game that's coming out. Um, and we really hope that people will have just a lot of fun with it. Very cool, Peter. Well, thank you so much for coming by and showing off Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. Give us, give us the, give us the deets. It'll be uh, on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 early 2014. All right, Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, folks. We're heading back out to the show floor to check out Sony Online Entertainment, or if you like acronyms, SOE.